I'm backing up my truck, I'm gonna hook it up, loading up my boat with all my gear. I've been working hard all week, trying to make ends meet, spending time wishing I was fishing. Oh, Terry Wickstrom wants to take you fishing. Gather up your gear and come along. Well, Terry Wickstrom wants to take you fishing. This is Terry Wickstrom. Join Karen Collum, Greg Collagio, and me as we take you to some of our favorite fishing spots from Colorado to Minnesota, the Arctic Circle to Central America and beyond as we revisit episodes of Mountain States Fishing and Angling Adventures Television on the best of fishing with Terry Wickstrom. Hey, we're down here in uh, Costa Rica, and I'm with Mike Loberg, and these guys are probably going to become regulars on this show <laughs> because we got a lot of things we're going to try to accomplish down here. And of course, we got Mark Coughlin from Horsetooth Reservoir in Fort Collins, right by my house. Mike lives in Fort Collins, and uh, you live right in Fort Collins too, don't you? Sure. Steve's cool. also from uh, Horsetooth Reservoir, and uh, so we got a whole. Uh, Larimer County contingency we down do, here. We do, we do. We're having good. And of course, you introduced me to this place uh, a year ago. Yep. And we stayed in your condo. Now we're in the complex. We'll tell people all about that and how you get down here. But we're going to take these guys out and we're going to try to do some different types of fishing. But today, we have a special trip. Um, you guys have never caught a sailfish, have you? Never. Never. I've fished the ocean a lot up in uh, the States on the Pacific side, but I've never caught a sailfish. Never caught yellowfin tuna, really those warm water species I haven't had a chance to catch yet. And you? I've never been deep sea fishing at all, so um, catching anything is going to be great. So we're going to go out and there's some bucket lists that need to be emptied today and we're going to join Captain Gene Watson on the Flamingo 2 and we're going to put some lines out and see what happens and if it's anything like we've been hearing, uh, it could be a pretty exciting day. So join us with uh, Gene Watson and we'll head out in the water and the, the seas off of Costa Rica. Dorado, that's you, yeah. Steve. They hook it up. Hey, fish on, come on. Fish on. go ahead. Dorado, go ahead, go, 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 go. Hey. 
You're not gonna let that little Dorado beat you, are you? <laughs> Isn't it amazing how everything in the salt pulls? No, this is dinner, Steve. Yeah. We got Steve Gibson from Fort Collins with us from Horsetooth Reservoir. This pulls a little harder than those walleyes, Steve. A little bit. Can you tell he's on there? Yeah, he's on. It's a... Is this your first Dorado? Yeah. Ever? Have you ocean fished like this before? No, not like this. Okay, in awesome. Navy, in the Navy, I did a little bit of trawling. This one's dinner, you know, mahi-mahi. Nice. Yeah, dinner. Yes, sir. Yeah. Isn't that incredible? Oh, that was awesome. My first one. First blood on the trip, too. Yeah. First fish of the day. All right, Steve, your yeah. first Dorado. Look at the way the colors change on him. Isn't yeah, that incredible? Look at that. That's a nice fish. That's dinner for me tonight. Dinner. <laughs> awesome, my man. Way to go. Yeah, it's great. Hey, we're going to take a quick time out here. We want to get you to. Uh, Becky Dalton from Special Places. She can tell you a lot about the accommodations and the variety that's available down here and give us some information on how you could book this trip. Well, well while we're here, a lot of, you know, you rent, you're, you, you manage to rent to a number of facilities, condos, rooms, you work with several motels, and a lot of the places that you can arrange for accommodations for people have full kitchens. They're houses, right. they're full condos, and a lot of, so people can buy groceries or stores readily available mm -hmm. to buy things and cook, but a lot of people want to get out. They're on vacation, maybe they don't want to cook, and you really, here in Flamingo, you just have a wide range of dining uh, availability, don't you? Yes. There's right up here, Angelina's, is that the Angelina's? place? Angelina's. And that's more fine dining, a little yes. broader menu. And they um, have great, a great menu. And of course, there's everything in between. And then the other night, we ate at the place right downtown. Mariso. Mariso's. Mariso. Mariso. Uh -huh. And the French, uh, French type uh, atmosphere, an incredible wine list. And the chef was just amazing, came out and talked to us. Right. So you just really have everything from fast food restaurants as you drive up and down the coast to, to the elegant fine dining. So really, you can plan meals and you can help people set up an itinerary with all those things, can't you? Yes, and we also can arrange for private chef services to go into the home. Wow, so you can, so somebody could come down here, maybe rent a house or a large condo uh -huh. and you can have a chef come in and do the cooking and uh, you really can arrange just all levels of accommodations, can't you? That's right. Tell you what, we're going to tell you a little bit more about that, but let's get back out in the water with Gene now and just see how the rest of the fishing day went. Got him? Yep. Yeah, oh yeah, just keep pressure on him. All right, Mark. Now we got Mark Coughlin from Fort Collins. We got the whole, uh, I'm gonna push him in the water here, I better sit. We got the whole Colorado connection here. We got Larimer, half of Larimer County's finest here with us. We got. Uh, we got uh, we got the sheriff's department. We got the rangers, and we got Mark hooked up with a tuna. You can talk, Mark. Tuna can pull. You've caught tuna before, haven't you, Mark? Feel like it's pretty big. I'll tell you what. Tuna are just so strong. I think pound for pound, there isn't a better fighter. You can tell what a handful this is for these guys. This is a strong, strong fish. Everything that swims in the ocean is so strong. I got it made today. I don't have to do any of this hard pulling. All I got to do is sit here and watch and coach. It's amazing how hard they pull, isn't it? It's awesome. It's incredible. I saw a little bit of it. It looked like a pretty good sized fish. 
This is only about a three pound fish. Mark's just a wuss. <laughs> We're not having any fun today, are we? This is awesome. We've been surrounded by hundreds of dolphins. We've raised four or five sailfish. We boated a Dorado and Mark's about to bring in the sushi for tonight. We said we were gonna have sashimi tonight. So Mark's gonna make it happen. I'll get out of the way over here. Oh, a nice tuna, Mark. Nice, beautiful tuna. All right, Mark. Nice work, Mark. Nice fish, nice fish. Awesome job, Mark. All right, Steve, get after him. All right, we got uh, well, we got the Larimer County crew here. <laughs> we got uh, Steve and you from Horse Tooth, Mark, and we've got uh, Mike Luber Mike from, from the, from the Sheriff's, Sheriff's Department. We're all down here staying at the condos that uh, Mike actually owns one of the condos. We've got a Chinese fire drill. Stay out, stay fast, 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 fast. Keep tight. Don't let it get loose. Don't let it get loose. Keep that rod tip up. There you oh, go. He's got him. All right. Keep All keep right. cranking. There keep cranking. Keep cranking. But he's gonna let you know he's there in a minute. Trust that. Yeah, it. when I see the boat, he'll go. Yeah, tunas are so strong. Such a strong fish. Great job. I'm there gonna you go. go. Let him run if he wants to run. Good job, Steve. There's a leader. You got a little strength to them, Steve? A little bit right there, just when you got close. I'll tell you what, tuna, to me, are one of the strongest fish. They're just incredible. So now you've got, uh, you got a mahi, and this is your first tuna too, first right? First tuna as well. All right, so you got a mahi-mahi and a, a yellowtail tuna. I hate to tell you this, but Mark's was bigger. <laughs> yeah, was <laughs> but he didn't get a mahi yet. Awesome job, my friend, way to go. Awesome. Hey Mike, first of all, this is my second trip down here. By the way folks, we're gonna get you back out in the water in just a minute, but first time I came and I stayed in your condo right down here, yep. and now I'm staying in another condo in the same complex. Beautiful accommodations, but before we even get to that, I, th I think people think Costa Rica and they think, oh, I don't know if I could take a trip like that. We had breakfast in Denver and lunch in Costa Rica. We did a direct flight now from Denver to Liberia, which is about 40, 45 minutes away from the condos. And yeah, and it takes, it's just a few hours. It's quicker than getting to Hawaii or places like oh, yeah, that. Absolutely. It's just, you get down here, it's just unbelievable. A lot of the airlines have direct flights. You fly into, is it pronounced Liber Liberia? Liberia. Or Liberia. Liberia. And I think it said 40 minutes away. And I travel a lot in the world, and sometimes we're hesitant to rent a car. I've been driving all over Costa <laughs> yeah. Rica. It's just yeah. incredible. I mean, it's kind of a unique experience, but very safe, really. Uh, yeah, very much so. You know, the, the beaches are so unique down here. It's not like you go to one beach that's 10 miles long. All these beaches are little coves. They all have their own personalities. Um, some have big waves. Some have little waves. Having that rental car gives you the ability to go experience all of these things around here. Well, not only the beaches, but... Um, your wife, my producer Karen, and some friends, and your daughter went zip lining. Yeah, yeah. They went riding zip lines through the canopy. I mean, there's so many activities. We took a day as a group. We took two cars, and we drove out to where there's an active volcano. Mm -hmm. I already know. Yeah, and it's just an incredible place. There's so much to do. You mentioned the beaches. There's surfing. There's boogie boarding. And we went kayak fishing. Kayak fishing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just uh, unbelievable experiences out here. Um, Obviously, deep water fishing, uh, you got sailfish and marlin, and all the other uh, rooster fish, and tuna, and it's just dorado. It's just been an unbelievable experience. But if you didn't fish at all, you could come down here, you could spend days on the beach, do some boogie boarding, you could um, just head out to a different destination and a different activity. There's, if you don't want to cook in the condo, there's everything from little beachside bars and yeah. restaurants too. I've eaten fine dining with incredible wine lists right yeah, here in, in Flamingo. It's just it, it is incredible fishery, a great destination for fishing, but that's not all it is. There's oh. so much to do. Uh, the ability to, to include your family in these activities and go out for a day and spend the day together seeing these sites and experiencing you know, the real Costa Rica is awesome. Well, and you know what, tell the people real quick about the accommodations. It's not that expensive, is it? No, no, it's not. We're very reasonably priced. Depends on the time of year. Um, you know, our, our condos are all two bedroom, two bath. 
some great you know stainless steel appliances, granite countertops. You know we have the Wi-Fi. Wi you can access your internet, check your emails if you want, or leave the computer off. Uh, but, yeah. but there's something for everybody. Well, and if there's this big ranch area, we're sitting right next to us, there's a barbecue where we've spent the evenings having some wine and drinks and throwing stuff on the grill. Full kitchenette, grocery stores, easy shopping. Yeah, that, and that's a huge benefit down here just in this complex because we have access to all eight units. You come down with some couples, some families, extended family. You can get together in the evenings like, we, like, we, like we've done all week. You spend an evening here, have some dinner. And tell, yeah. Talk about the whole day's activity. And the trip can be whatever you want. It can be very reasonable. Flights aren't that expensive. The condos are inexpensive. And you can cook right in your room. You don't have to eat out. And, and the, the groceries really aren't that much different than no. they are back in the United States. Or you can go out and eat at the bars and the good restaurants, the upper scale. Or, or you can get a hamburger and a hot dog exactly. along the beach. Exactly. Everything you want. So well, let's get you back out in the water. But if you don't have Costa Rica on your bucket list of things to do, you're really missing out. Two tunas. So we got Larimer County proudly represented here. We got the ranger, park ranger, and the sheriff's department. We'll see if we can create a little internal strife here. Two fish hooked up here. I'll get over by. Both staying deep. So, all right, now we got a little, uh, we got the sheriff's department against the parks. What do you think, Mike? Oh, we, we, got, we got a beat. I think mine's bigger. <laughs> <laughs> what no a way. fishing trip, huh? Oh, it's beautiful. I mean, we haven't even been out half a day yet. We've boated a sailfish, raised five more. I don't know how many tuna we got in the boat. We have a double of tuna on right now. We got mahi-mahi in the cooler. Other than that, it's been just kind of, besides the besides the hundreds of dolphins have been swimming around Mike, us, Mike, I'm huh? picking your butt. <laughs> <laughs> the tuna can pull, can't they? They are, they are strong fish. They dive deep. Oh, Mark, who's winning over there? I think I am. <laughs> you won't catch these. Ask him if he has fish like this in that reservoir he manages. Horse Tooth Reservoir in Colorado. Mark, of course, manages Horse Tooth. Are they twisted? What a day, good friends. Oh, they're going to have to go, switch. Go under, Mike, go under, go under, go under. Okay, 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 what's that? Yep. The lines got crossed here. We're trying to get the rods straightened out so that they swam around each other and tangled the lines. Now we got them. It's those rookie sheriff's deputies. You get away from my fish! I tell you what, he hurt. This, this county, inter-county rivalry's got to stop, guys. See who gets their Can't fish. Can't we just all get along? <laughs> you know what? Could, what could be more fun than a day like this? I'll tell you what. And He's got that little fish on. I don't know what is this. <laughs> um, we can use yours as bait. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I tell you what, Mike. You've been fishing with Captain Gene for a few years now, and it's been just. Uh, been incredible, hasn't it? We have. It's a, it's a great destination, great fishing, and uh, just some wonderful people. You notice that Mark is nursing him. He's trying to get more air time. All right. Yeah. All right, Mike. I, I knew the sheriff's department would be more efficient than Parks right, getting theirs right. in. He's still nursing. He's trying to get air time. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Nice tuna. Nice tuna. How you doing there, Mark? Leader's almost up. These are some beautiful fish. Oh, what's got him? Go, Mark. It's on the line, Mark. To get, you're not going to let the sheriff's department beat you, are you? Hey, Mark, I hate to tell you this. It's Mike's bigger. is bigger. I know. A lot bigger. <laughs> that's probably nice, not that's as big nice. as the one you caught before, though, right? No. no. You know, it's not that much bigger. with a double tuna hookup out here off of Costa Rica fishing with uh, Captain Gene and uh, right outside of Mike's, Mike's condo down here. Malerma County's finest. There you go. We're going to have sashimi tonight, nice. guys. What a great time. It's been a great day. Been a great, great trip, great day. Awesome, awesome. Steve here, determined to pet one of the dolphins that we have swimming by the boat. He's caught a tuna. No, he's caught a mahi-mahi and he had a tuna on. But I think he's more interested in playing with the dolphins. He's determined, and there's hundreds of them. I mean, this is the second time I've been out in these waters, and every both times we were surrounded by dolphins the entire time. And it's just incredible. 
And Steve, Steve, Steve just wants to pet one on the nose and say hi, thanks for the show. Hey guys, what an incredible experience here in Costa Rica. It's unbelievable. Um, you got your, your first sailfish? Yeah, you know, it completely exceeded my expectations. You know, we hoped to get maybe one or two billfish on the boat and a couple of tuna. You know, we ended up getting five billfish total, four tuna, a gerardo. It was really just a phenomenal trip. Your first sailfish and your first, first tuna? Yellowfin tuna. Uh, and you, you, this guy, how many first fish did you get on this trip? Lots. Lots. You got so, your first sailfish. First sailfish. First tuna. First tuna. First, first dorado. First dorado. Yeah. Just unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, just, uh, what do you think? Uh, it was a phenomenal experience. Once in a lifetime. Well, hope, hopefully not. You'll come back. <laughs> <laughs> so far, once in a lifetime. But yeah, hopefully come back and uh, experience it again. It was just phenomenal. Definitely recommend it to anybody. I mean, you can't get any better fishing than that. And of course, you just, you come down here a couple times a year, you yeah. own the place. Um, I don't know if we did any first for you, but I think, I know I can see the, the excitement you know watching these guys. Exactly, that was a first for me. Seeing Karen, these two guys catch a first sailfish, that was an incredible experience. Right? And then the other things we did, an active volcano with zip lines, there's just so much to do down here. I mean. You're going to see multiple shows. We can't show it all in one, but I will tell you, a lot of bucket lists got a little emptier on this trip, but it wouldn't hurt to put Costa Rica on your bucket list and some of the activities we've told you about because it's an incredible destination. Make it a destination for you and join us next week on Angling Adventures Television.